Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium Tutorials. Up till now, we have learned how to identify elements with the help of XPath. We also saw the difference between an absolute XPath and a relative XPath. In this session, we would be covering what are partial XPaths. Basically, there are two kinds of partial XPaths. First one, which uses the keyword contains and second one, which uses the keyword starts with. In this tutorial, we would be covering the partial XPath, which uses the keyword contains. In my next tutorial, I would uh, discuss the partial XPath which uses the keyword starts with both almost similar so let's start first of all I would like to give you the syntax how to use the partial XPath as you could see on your screen this is the syntax of the partial XPath which uses the keyword contains here you could see I've just highlighted this is the contains keyword now this contained keywords take takes two parameters the first is HTML attribute at we should this at the rate is like it works like a keyword also like we should provide it over there as it is and then we should provide an HTML attribute of the web element under text and the second parameter is the text which we are searching and if you would see the first thing over here this is the type of the HTML element under test so I know things would be a bit confused as of now now I would take an example to explain this syntax so assume like we need to identify this email element with the help of partial XPaths then what would be the actual syntax so for that I would be using this firebug I am activating firebug you could see this bug icon on the top right hand corner of the Firefox browser I am activating it by just doing a single click it would get activated in a few seconds the firebug has activated I would be actually using firepath I am assuming that firebug and firepath are already installed on your Mozilla Firefox browser so I would click on this tab firepath now I need to identify this email ID field with the help of partial XPath so first step is what I will be doing I will just click on this arrow icon and hover my mouse to email ID field so the email ID field would get highlighted below in blue you could see the field has been highlighted and here you could see these are the HTML attributes input ID ID is an HTML attribute similarly name is an HTML attribute placeholder is an HTML attribute now out of these HTML attributes I could use any one to identify this element with the help of partial XPath so assume I need to identify this email ID field with the help of this ID attribute now let's compare with the syntax now what will happen is the first parameter here here we provide HTML attribute since we have selected ID I would write ID over here now what is the second parameter text to search now this ID field is equal to email E-M-A-I-L so I could write a substring over there in the second parameter like for example I could write over here within single quotes mail now the ID value actual value of the ID is EMAIL and I have passed over here MAIL so MAIL is a substring of email so in other words the ID contains MAIL ID which is equal to EMAIL contains the substring MAIL so this should work now you'll be wondering what is this type now the type is the type of the HTML the type of the web element in this case the type is input so I would mention input over here so my partial XPath is ready so if I need to check whether this XPath works or not it's very simple I just copy the string in the fire bug, bug if you could see XPath over here I would directly paste it over here press enter when I do that and now if I click on this highlight button you could see the email ID field is getting highlighted which means our partial XPath is correct we could directly use this XPath in the email ID field if I just copy this XPath and put in my selenium script this would work I would take another example this time we had taken the HTML attribute ID I could do the same thing 
with name because if you would see the value of name field is also email if you could just see on the right hand corner name is also equal to email so if i just change this id to name and copy this partial xpath and paste in this field and do a highlight press enter then that should also work if i click highlight now once again i could see these blue lines which means the field is getting highlighted oh i'm sorry it did not get pasted correctly i'll just write name over here see if my xpath is incorrect it would turn red now i have entered name over here clicked enter now if i do a highlight you could see this blue lines on the email id field which means the xpath is correct so we could apply the xpath using any of this html attributes we sh the only thing is we should provide a correct substring if the substring is incorrect then it won't work if i change my substring to m a i l l l and do and enter see this highlight button gets disabled i won't be able to highlight which means this the page the, the tool is not able to recognize this element with this xpath and if i'll use this xpath in my selenium script it won't work so i should use a correct xpath which is m a i l or just e m a then the xpath would start working now if i do a highlight yes it is highlighting so what i'll do is now i'll actually use this xpath in my selenium script so i'll go to eclipse create a new class by right clicking the source folder here i'll get an option to create a new class i'll go to new class i would give the name of the class as partial xpath select this option public static void main click on finish button the class will get loaded with a default main method you all should be now aware of these things like we have covered these things in a number of tutorials so my class has loaded i start writing my code from the main program first step as usual it is to create an object of the web driver class web driver d is equal to new firefox driver d is the object name you could have any object name of your choice here the r should be smaller java is case sensitive you all know that now to avoid these errors i'll just hover my mouse to the red marks eclipse would help me to solve these errors by now you all must be familiar with these things so i hover my mouse over there select import web driver i could see another error on firefox driver same thing i select import firefox driver both the errors are resolved now i would go to gmail.com using the driver object that is d dot get method is used to navigate to the url we provide the url here that is http www.gmail.com the gmail page would open the next step is we need to enter some value in the email id field using the partial xpath so the command i would use is d dot find element in the brackets we would write by dot we are using partial xpath so it would be by xpath and here we would place the partial xpath expression 
I just copy this expression and paste it within these inverted commas the next thing is we need to send some keys so send keys is the method and we could pass anything over here we would be passing test at gmail.com So that's it our code is ready it is in a position to get executed so here we are actually using the partial xpath with the contains keyword here we have taken the html attribute as id and we are searching for the text mail mail similarly if it, i would have used the html attribute id and searched for mail that would have also worked because in the id field also contains mail and name field also contains mail so let's execute this script right click on anywhere on the screen run as let's see whether this partial xpath works you could see the browser has launched it is navigating to gmail.com the gmail dot com page is opening and here it will try to enter test at gmail dot com in the email id field let's see whether this partial xpath works or not yes it has worked so our script has completed we had only two steps in our script as you could see we just launched gmail dot com and we entered test at gmail dot com in the email id field using partial xpath which has the keyword contains so this concludes our session where i have explained how to use partial xpath just one more thing i would like to add is like we should use this partial xpath only when we are not able to identify the elements with the help of any other thing like we are, if we are not it we if we are not able to identify with the help of id or by normal xpath then this should be kept as the last option so we have understood how to use partial xpath with the keyword contains in my next tutorial i would cover partial xpath with the start with keyword guys thanks for joining hope to see you soon bye bye